Hey y'all, Irick Sky here. And before I begin with this video, real quickly, can you tell me what do you think about the video quality? Testing different camera equipment, trying to find what works best for me in the field. What do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality? I granted there is some wind that just picked up, uh, but what do you think about it? Now today, and a lot of people often accuse me, they're like, hey man, you know, you're just a DJI fanboy, you know, you're just, you're drinking the DJI Kool-Aid, bro, you know. Well, honestly, the Phantom is, without a doubt, my favorite drone on the market today. And I can say that because I've enjoyed Phantom 1, Phantom 2, Phantom 2 Vision Plus, Phantom 3 Professional, and now the Phantom 4. But with that said, a fanboy would not share what I'm about to share. So let me grab my Phantom 4. Problem just surfaced today, never seen it before. I've let it cool off for a little bit, so I'm curious to see if the problem's still going to persist. And so without further ado, further ado, I'm gonna turn everything back on here, and we're gonna see if this problem is still there. It has confused me. I hope that it's just a software glitch because I don't want to. I don't want to have to deal with it. But whatever happens, happens, and that's that's always been the theme with my videos. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Irixguy. And a lot of people appreciate the format. Some people are like, "Hey man, you need to edit, man. That video is just too long, bro." Um, which that's fine. I mean, I can understand some people are impatient, they don't want to watch the true experience, but it's true experiences like this that enable me to share issues, troubleshooting challenges that may or may not pop up. And this one's popped up for me. So I want to see when I go back into the app if I'm still getting this battery issue. Because I'm actually, you know, something like this, when I see hardware, what suggests may be a possible hardware issue, that kind of stuff irritates me. Because there's a difference between troubleshooting software issues you know you've seen a lot of my imu calibration videos for phantom 3 pro phantom 4 but when you're dealing with hardware knowing that you have not neglected that hardware in any way i haven't stored it in a hot environment i've properly charged the battery with the dji battery charger only i haven't abused it it hasn't crashed and then you see something like that pop up um but you know what's funny <laughs> the video before this the video before this is where i encountered that bad battery issue, the message that I popped up that was showing the bad battery cell or whatever verbiage it used. But now I'm just seeing safe to fly GPS. Now because of my previous flight, and by the way, that was with a different camera and a different lens, so I want you to watch that and tell me what you think about the, uh, the video quality between the two cameras. But we've got 53% battery remaining, so let's take this thing up and, uh, and see how it performs. And see if I if I get that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hit record. It's recording. See if I get that battery issue after flying for a while. 53% battery. Yeah, and this is part two of the camera test because a lot of people. Well, or DJI Phantom 4 camera test, rather. Because a lot of people were commenting about the uh, a phenomenon known as, a lot of people refer to it as uh, rolling shutter. Or, you know, the video looks jerky when it goes up and down. So let's play with the camera some more in this, in this continuation. I had to, had to stop the, uh, the other video abruptly because I was concerned due to that battery error. I didn't know if it was a legitimate error or if it was something that... Uh, no, I don't want to crash this Phantom 4. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not Donald Trump. You know, I can't just, I can't just throw those dollars around for for equipment. I'll take care of what I got. So, and that's not a bashing Trump reference, by the way. So if anybody says that, it is not bashing Trump in any way whatsoever. I was just, I was complimenting him because of his financial uh, sense of security. Okay, so we're gonna do some rapid and low here. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, do the camera down rapidly. Rapidly while I go across the field there. 
Okay, now it's at the downward most position. We'll turn this puppy back around the other way and go up very rapidly. While I'm turning left, I mean, I'm gonna give this thing a real test here. Now I'm kind of doing some zigzag type maneuvers with the camera all the way up. So yeah, tell me what you think. I think it flies really well. Uh, Let's see how the how the tearing on the on the up and down goes. And again, if you didn't watch my previous video already, I'm at 55-0 gimbal wheel speed. You don't know how to set your gimbal wheel speed? Check out my 400 or below.com website blog. I've got a DJI Phantom 4 gimbal wheel speed tutorial video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash iRixGim. Y'all have a good day. Hey all I Rick Sky here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.